Hi friends. So for math today, we are going to work on some shapes. And so I have um, five shapes here. Some of them you might know the name of and you might have seen before. Other ones you might not be so sure what the name of them is. And you might have not really seen them any place before. And that's okay. We're going to learn um, a little bit about shapes for the next few weeks. And today we're going to just talk about these five shapes, their names, and some things about them. So we're gonna start with this shape. Take a minute just to look at it. What are some things that you notice about this shape? This shape is called a hexagon. Practice saying that word, hexagon. And this hexagon sorry friends I'm just trying to make sure you can see so my tripod is falling over okay so this hexagon is what color we'll start with that it is yellow. And I'm just gonna put a little scribble of yellow next to that so we know this is yellow. Something else that we notice about this hexagon. It has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. What are these things called where the sides connect? Do you know? Those are called corners. So we can say it has one, two, three, four, five, six corners. And now really look at it closely. I'll pick it up for you. Are the sides straight or curved like a circle? They are straight. So it has straight sides. So some things that we know about a hexagon is that this one here is yellow, but it has six sides. It has six corners and the sides are straight. Let's move on to another shape. And I think that you might have seen this shape before. Give you a minute to look at it. What shape is that? That is a square. Can you practice saying that word? Square. And what are some things that we notice about this square? This square is orange. Put a little orange scribble there so you can see. Hmm. When we looked at the hexagon, we counted how many sides it has. Let's count how many sides a square has. And you might already know this answer. One, two, three, Four. It has four sides. Something else that we talked about is 
these places where the sides meet, where the lines meet, those are called corners. Let's count and find out how many corners a square has. One, two, three, four. The square has four corners. Okay, and the last thing that we need to figure out is if the sides of the square are straight or curved. They are straight. It has straight sides. Okay, so now we know about the square that this one here is orange. It has one, two, three, four sides. It has one, two, three, four, four corners, and the sides are straight. Let's move on to our next shape. That's the next shape we have. Take a look at it. Hmm, do you know this shape? I bet you do. That is a triangle. What is something that you notice about this triangle? This triangle is green. So I'm gonna write green and just color a little bit of green there so you can see. What's something else that you know or you notice about this triangle or even this bigger one here that I made for you? How many sides does a triangle have? I bet you know. Let's count to check. One, two, three. It has three sides. And what about where the sides meet, where the sides come together? Do you remember what we said those are called? Corners. Let's count and see how many corners a triangle has. One, two, three. It has three corners. And the last thing that we have to find out by looking at the sides of the triangle, are the sides straight or are they curved? And when I'm asking straight or curved, that line would be straight and that line would be curved because it wiggles. Are these sides straight or curved? They are straight. Okay, so the things so far that we know about this triangle is that it is green, it has three sides, it has three corners, and it has straight sides. Let's move on to our next sheet. Take a moment to look at this one. This is one that you might have seen before, but maybe aren't so sure what the name of it is. Put it up closer for you to see. Oh, I have marker on my hand. Any ideas of what that's called? That is called a trapezoid. Take a look at the trapezoid. What's one thing that you notice about the trapezoid? I notice that its color is red. 
That doesn't mean that all trapezoids are going to be red, but this one is red. Now maybe I wanna look at the sides and find out how many sides a trapezoid has. One, two, three, four. Four sides. And the size is something that's never going to change. A triangle will always have three sides. A square will always have four sides. A hexagon will always have six sides. A trapezoid will always have four sides. The color might be different. You might see it someplace around your house. Maybe you have a toy or a block that shapes like a trapezoid, but it will always have four sides. Next, we need to find out how many corners it has. And remember, corners are where the sides come together and meet. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four corners. And the last thing we need to find out is if the sides are straight or curved. What do you think? Straight or curved? I think straight. Okay. So here are some things that we know about this trapezoid. It is red, it has four sides, it has four corners, and it has straight sides. Okay, we're gonna talk about one more shape today. This one. Hmm, this one I think is going to be a little bit tricky because you might know it as one name but we're gonna talk about it as, a, I think, a different name than what you know. This is called a rhombus. Can you say that? Rhombus. And I think this one can be a little bit tricky because if you turn it like this, you might call it a diamond. But when we have it this way, we call it a rhombus. So what's something that we notice right away about this rhombus? This rhombus is blue. That doesn't mean that all rhombus that we see will be blue but this one is blue. Now we need to figure out how many sides a rhombus has. Let's get ready to count them. One, two, three, four. A rhombus has four sides. Now we need to find out how many corners a rhombus has. Remember, a corner is where the sides come together to meet. One, two, three, four. Four corners. And the last thing we need to figure out about this rhombus is whether it has straight sides or curved sides? What do you think? Straight or curved? Straight, definitely. So what we know about the rhombus is that this one is blue. It has four sides. It has four corners and it has straight sides. 
Okay, so before we finish up for math today, I'm going to show you a shape and I want you to call out what its name is. Even though I can't hear you, it will be kind of fun. Like we're pretending that we're in the classroom. Ready? What's this shape? A square. What's this shape? A trapezoid. What's this shape? A rhombus. What's this shape? A hexagon. And what's this shape? A triangle. Great job with your shapes today.